In this video, I'm gonna be describing some more related rates applications. This time we're gonna focus on right triangles. We could actually ask three different types of questions involving right triangles. And so we'll move through each of those types of questions by using this first scenario here. So each of our questions is gonna to relate to this initial information. 25 foot ladder is leaning against the wall of a house and the base of the ladder is being pulled away from the wall at a rate of two feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder moving down the wall when its base is seven feet from the wall? So let's try and interpret some information here, find out what's given, what do we know, what do we need to find out? We know the length of the ladder. We know the base length of the ladder at this exact moment is gonna be seven. So we're talking about lengths of a right triangle. Hopefully you assume that we may need the Pythagorean theorem. That gives us lengths of a right triangle. We're also told the hypotenuse length, which is the length of the ladder, that's gonna be 25 feet. And we're also told the rate at which the base is moving away from the wall. So we're given a horizontal change in position or the rate at which the horizontal position is changing. So we're given dx dt, the rate at which the horizontal position is changing with respect to time. And we're asked to find how fast the top of the ladder is moving down the wall. So that would be a change in our vertical position and we're asked the rate at which it is changing. So we're gonna solve for dy dt at the exact moment when x is seven, when the base of the ladder is seven feet away from the wall. So if we use our Pythagorean theorem and we differentiate, we can solve for some rates of change in our lengths here. So differentiating each variable implicitly with respect to time, the derivative of x squared with respect to time is 2x times dx dt. The derivative of y squared with respect to time is 2y times dy dt. And since we knew what our hypotenuse was and it's never going to change, we can keep it a constant 25. And when we find the derivative of that, we get zero. So what do we know so far? We know x at this exact moment, x is seven, so I can substitute seven for x. We were told initially that dx dt was two, so I can substitute that as well. But then as I keep going, I'm still missing a y and a dy dt. Well, at this exact moment, when x is seven, we can actually use that to solve for y at this exact moment. So at the exact moment when x is seven and r is 25, we could solve the Pythagorean theorem for y at this time. And when we do that, we figure out that y is positive and negative 24, but since we're dealing with lengths, we only care about the positive value. So when x is seven, y is 24. So at this exact moment, I can substitute 24 for y and then solve for dy dt. Or we could solve it all and then substitute at the last moment. Either way is okay. And either way, we get negative 14 24 And when we simplify, we get negative 7 twelfths. So what does that mean? Well, we're solving for the rate at which the vertical position was changing. The top of the ladder is moving down the wall. We know it's moving down because our derivative is negative, or the rate of change is negative. It's moving down the wall at a rate of 7 twelfths of a foot per second, exactly at the time when the base of the ladder is 7 feet away from the wall. So there's an example where we could play around with lengths of a right triangle, deriving the Pythagorean theorem. Another way we could be using right triangles with related rates is by talking about the area of the triangle created. So if we imagine that these, uh, this ladder is moving away from the wall, but it's still creating a right triangle here. As the ladder moves down, and as the base of the ladder moves out, the area created here, the area of this right triangle is also changing, and we can talk about that. So let's consider that the triangle formed by the side of the house, the ladder and the ground, and we'll find the rate at which the area of the triangle is changing. And let's do it exactly when the base of the ladder is seven feet from the wall. So this instantaneous area change at this exact moment. And let's use all of that information that we already had. We know the length of the ladder is 25 feet. We know that the base of the ladder is moving at two feet per second. We solved for 
the rate of change at which the top of the ladder was moving. So we'll keep that information in our mind. So dy dt was negative 7 twelfths. And we're still talking about the same moment that we used in our last example. So when x is 7, we knew that y is 24. So let's use all of that information and the fact that we know we're playing around with the area of a triangle. So we must use the formula, which is 1 half of base times height, or in other words, half of x times y. And so let's derive the area of a triangle. We'll find the rate at which the area is changing with respect to time. And when we derive this, we're going to actually use the product rule. So the derivative of x times y is dx dt times y plus x times the derivative of y with respect to time. So x times dy dt. And we have all of the information we need to substitute and simplify this equation. dx dt was 2. y at this exact moment was 24. x at this exact moment was 7. And dy dt was negative 7 twelfths. So we just simplify all of this, and we get 527 twelfths. Let's interpret that. We're talking about the rate at which the area of the triangle is changing, and since we have a positive rate of change, we must be increasing our area by approximately 21 or 22 square feet per second at the exact moment when the base of the ladder is 7 feet from the wall. So there's an example playing around with area and how area can change with respect to time. One more example we could use with right triangles. Let's talk about angles of a right triangle. So let's find the rate at which the angle is changing, the angle specifically that's formed between the ladder and the ground. So how is that changing, or what is the rate at which it is changing at the same exact moment we've been dealing with, when the base of the ladder is 7 feet from the wall? So a couple of ways we could be using formulas to talk about the angle. We could use tangent, which would require opposite and adjacent lengths. We could use sine, which would require opposite and hypotenuse lengths. Or we could use cosine, which involves adjacent and hypotenuse lengths. Well, opposite and adjacent lengths are certainly known, and we could use tangent. I'm going to choose sine just because it seems easier to use. But again, you could probably do this two other ways using cosine or tangent, and I'm going to let you play around with that. But I'm going to solve it using sine because I know my hypotenuse length is a constant. It's the length of the ladder, and it's never going to change. So I feel like that might be an easy way to do this. So the sine of this angle is going to be the vertical length divided by the hypotenuse, which is 25. And if we rewrite that, putting our constant in front, because we're dividing by 25, which is the same as multiplying by 1 25ths, then sine of the angle is 1 25ths of y. And I may also use my cosine formula. We'll see what happens here. r, or the radius, or the hypotenuse of the triangle is 25. Same information from the previous example, so dx dt is still 2 dy dt is still a negative 7 twelfths. y at this exact moment when x is 7 is 24. And we're going to be solving for the rate of change of this angle with respect to time, exactly when x is 7. So if I know that x is 7, I can actually use a cosine ratio, which would be 7 over 25, because I know that x is 7 and my radius is 25. So if I derive sine, I get cosine, and that is why I can use my cosine ratio right here. So the derivative of sine with respect to time is cosine of theta times the derivative of theta with respect to time. And then I derive y over here on this side. So I'm going to shift my constant to the front and just derive y with respect to time and get dy dt. And now I can substitute all the information that I know. I know my cosine ratio is 7 25ths, and I'm going to be solving for the derivative of theta with respect to time. I know that dy dt is negative 7 twelfths. So if I simplify the right side, I get negative 7 three hundredths. And if I multiply by the reciprocal, I can solve for the derivative of theta with respect to time and get negative 1 twelfths. So the angle formed between the ladder and the ground is decreasing because my rate of change is negative. 
or approximately 0.083 radians per second.